Right, hi, I'm back um, after nearly three weeks, I think. Um, hopefully, I'm back to stay, but who knows. So, mostly, I've been very busy with personal stuff and illness in the family. Um, so, mostly, I've been picking this up and putting it down. This is my wrapping cloth. Uh, this is the easiest thing, I find, to pick up and put down. Although, to be fair, it still requires work in terms of ironing fabric and laying out pieces. Um, I think this piece has been finished since I went away. Um, hexagons, lace, prairie points. And then in the seam here, I put prairie, prairie points in there. And then I've done that in another seam over here put some prairie points in there now when I'm making these things I don't measure I just make panels that make me happy then start to join them together and then I do get to a point where I have to start measuring so if you notice this is one end of it and I've measured it this morning and I think it's going to end up 45 inches by 45 inches so the pieces that I need now to finish this will be measured okay um, and with that in mind, so I've got big gaps and it like over here. So with that in mind, I have been making some that I've measured and you can bet your life I won't know where they're going now. I think this one, no, see I wouldn't put this one here because of the fabric similarities there. So I don't think it's this one. No, so where did the other one go for? See, I just... Maybe, I don't know, that really long one, I can't remember where I was going to put it. I should take photographs when I'm doing it, that's a, a tip for you, take photographs when you're doing it. I'm sure, surely I didn't do it to go on there, because that's going to make it even bigger. Um, I see, mystery dialer, maybe it's over here. But then there's some of that fabric there. I try not to put the same fabrics together. I think it's probably for there. Um, but I can mask that by putting some prairie points in there when I attach it so that the the, the similarity with the fabrics, the, the matching of the fabrics doesn't look so obvious. I need to think about this. Where did I make that for? Take pictures, Karen. Take pictures. That's a good tip for you. Take pictures as you're working. This one might be for here. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. Yeah, that one's definitely for there. And then, I'll pull it over so you can see a bit more of that. That one's definitely for there. And then, I will make measure and make another piece go on there okay and maybe I was ahead of myself and maybe this one's for there could be could be for there at the bottom and um, so that and then I would just need a piece to go up there which I'll probably do in two pieces so it wasn't quite a continuous run with the same fabric yeah does that make sense so this is very minimally embellished at the moment there's some bolt trim in there and I've attached it with bullion knots that I haven't finished yet. And then I'm going to do bullion knots in those eyelets there as well. And I've made more hexagons for here. Um, very much a hexagon focus piece. I think there's hexagons on every, on every section, on every panel. Okay, so 45 by 45 I'm estimating the finished size will be. I need to find something to back it with. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not saying that we finish soon because now I'm getting back into the swing of things. I've had a couple of days and I've been working on, just let me get them. I've been working a little bit on these as well. Um, that there are videos for if you look at my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. So I've been working a bit on these as well. I did a little bit more work on that one last night. Um, so I don't know whether this wrapping cloth will get put to one side for a while. Although I'm anxious to finish it only because I want to be able to use it. I want it to be finished and present. Um, 
accomplished. Um, yeah, so that's it. Nice to be back. Like I say, I hope it's permanent. Everyone keep the fingers crossed or hold hands and chant. That would be appreciated.